I'm Megan Nicole and today I'm going to share with you some steps on how you can develop a new daily routine for yourself and give you ways of sticking to it. Now before we get into it, if you would go down below and hit that like and subscribe button, you'll be able to stay up to date on all things going on on my channel. Now let's get into it. Now the first step to developing a new routine might sound a little self-explanatory, but you need to determine what needs to be in your routine and what you want to take time to prioritize. Is it that you want to incorporate more exercise into your day-to-day -day life? Is there something at work that you do every day that you need to be a little bit better about prior prioritizing time towards? Or do you come home at the end of the day and dread doing dishes? What is it that you want to be better at and incorporate within your day? Now, if you've seen any of my other videos or followed me at all, you know that I have some 2020 goals set for myself. And one of the goals is to maintain and develop a daily routine for myself. So I decided at the beginning of this year that I wanted to get up at the beginning of the day and I wanted to start my day off going to the gym and getting a workout in so I didn't have to worry about it for the rest of the day at all. Then I would go to work, be productive at work and do everything that I need at work. And once I get home, I want to take the time to work on the 2020 goals that I have in some way or another. So once you decide what it is you want to incorporate in your daily routine, you need to start to set small goals for yourself. Now, it can be really exciting to just jump right into it and to set big goals and start trying to tackle them, but ultimately that's how we get frustrated and we can lose the routine that we made for ourselves. So if your routine includes something like trying to eat or incorporate better meals, maybe try incorporating one healthy meal a week or one uh, meal a day that's healthier than what you're used to in order to start to work up to um, eating healthier meals in general. And I know for myself when I tried to incorporate going to the gym in the morning every day, it was hard at first and I tried starting to do it uh, back to back or every day. Um, I just started right away trying to go to the gym t uh, every morning, uh, every day of the week and it was hard at first and I could have seen myself uh, losing sight of it if I wouldn't have tried to just um, start out easy. So instead of going every day of the week um, in the morning, I instead did um, every other day I would get up and go uh, to the gym. And as a result now, it's something that going to the gym in the morning is just something that I look forward to and it's something that I get excited about and it's just a way that I start my day and I know that I'll have time to myself and I can work on something when I'm on the treadmill or the stair step or whatever I'm doing. I can work on something while I am working out or just take time to myself just working out. And um, as you start to incorporate things within your daily routine, it just becomes um, so natural and so something that you get excited about and look forward to um, that you're just going to want to continue doing it. But that's giving ahead. So let's get to uh, step number three, what you should do is, and that is that you should lay out a plan for yourself. Now laying out a plan for yourself can look different for everyone, but I know for myself, I am such a list and schedule oriented person that if I don't write out what I am wanting to do or what I am thinking, then I just can get scattered and just distracted and ultimately not really do what I am wanting to work on. So this is something that I've only incorporated within my life um, the, this week. This is the only week that I've like done it so far. But what I have done is I have this 2019-2020 planner, this calendar planner. And what I have done every day this week so far is I have written out what it is that I want to accomplish for the night um, after I get home from work. So like for example yesterday I was really excited and I really wanted to put a new blog post out on my website So I wrote down write a new time warp Tuesday blog post Which is a category in one of the blogs that I have and so I wrote that down for myself And I was very intentional about getting home and starting to work on that blog post And I was able to post it at the end of the night and that just made me feel so great Like I had really made the most of my time and that I was actually being productive so but this could look very different for you um, you know everyone's different and it could be different how you motivate yourself and work to incorporate your daily routines um, it might be something also where you need to write a list for yourself as well and maybe just post it different places within the house on your refrigerator um, you know on your computer at work or um, even just set a screensaver for yourself on your phone something that is a constant reminder to you of 
what it is that you are wanting to incorporate within your life and what it is you are wanting to work on. Another step you should take is to consider and find ways of how you can make your daily routine fun and enjoyable or uh, just take time to find ways to reward yourself. Now, um, one thing that I think of or what comes to mind uh, when I think about my daily routine is that I wanted to incorporate ways of maintaining a cleaner space uh, in my in my apartment in where I live and I know that I uh, I recently learned that I need a clean space to come back home to work to or work in um, that I can be productive in so but I do not enjoy cleaning so um, I will often set for myself you know a goal like okay if I pick up uh, or do my laundry or pick up my clothes or you know put my shoes away whatever it is um i will either let myself have my dessert for the night or let myself take time to watch a tv show but this could be different for you you know find some ways if it's regretting to or not dreading to uh do the dishes at night you know give yourself something that you can look forward to um, at the end of it, uh, a, a reward or a treat, whatever it might be. The last step that I'll share with you is what I think is the most important, and that is just that you need to be consistent in whatever it is that you decide to make for yourself in a daily routine. Because like I had touched on earlier, once you develop this routine for yourself and you set um, these goals or these uh, milestones in your day that you want to complete, you start to look forward to them and you start to get excited about them and it just starts to become natural in a way that you decide to live your life. Um, I know that for myself, it when I if I decide to not or uh, miss the gym in the morning, I just feel so strange throughout the rest of the day and I um, just feel off. But at the end of the day, guys, even if it's one thing that you decide to change within your current daily routine, it can make so much of a difference. I know in my life personally, I have been so thankful for the fact that I was able to establish a daily routine for myself because I have seen such a difference in the amount of productivity and motivation that I've had for myself that I didn't necessarily have before. And I am so excited because these 2020 goals that I constantly always talk about for myself, I am so excited about being able to complete them either at the end of the year or earlier than that. And I know that in making this daily routine for myself, it's just going to increase ways or help me to find ways in productivity and motivation to be able to complete those. But that's all for our video today, guys, and I hope that you were able to gain a lot of insight from it, whether it's a whole daily, whole new daily routine you want to establish for yourself or just something small you want to change uh, throughout your daily or weekly routine. Um, I hope that you were able to gain a little bit of insight into whether it's my life or just some other ways that you can incorporate something new for yourself. Um, if you decided to start or... Uh, develop a new routine for yourself uh, after watching this video, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what it is that you're going to start to work towards or how you're going to work towards it or what it is in your life that you are wanting to change. Thanks so much again for stopping by and watching today, guys. And like I said before, if you like what you saw today, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. Uh, so you can get all all the updates that I have coming up for my channel and you can stay up to date with me. So hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon.